Today we'll be looking into a piece of software that is very well known throughout the FS community, uh, as well as the gaming community in general. It's called Fraps. A lot of people ask how many FS video producers out there record their videos. Some may argue that other programs such as GameCam or HyperCam are better than Fraps. However, Fraps has a bigger following and their customer service is exceptional. Moreover, the program does what it's supposed to do, it records in-game footage. Here we'll take a look at the Fraps homepage. These three points highlighted here are the primary functions of Fraps. It can be used as benchmarking software, allowing you to know accurately how much FPS or frames per second you are getting in-game. Fraps can also be used to capture screenshots of your favorite moments with the press of a button. No more will you have to use the print screen button and have to paste the screenshot in paint. This option allows you to save the image file instantly. This is the option everyone is familiar with. Fraps allows you to record in real time in-game footage with sound if you choose to do so. You can choose to use the demo version of Fraps, however there are two main drawbacks, one of which allows you only to record 30 seconds at a time, though you can resume with another recording right away. The second limitation is that each of your recordings will have the Fraps watermark at the top of your video clip. Nothing a little cropping in the video editor can't fix, right? The full version gives you full freedom with what you can do with Fraps, allowing you to record for as long as you want and not having to worry about the watermark anymore. The download is under a megabyte and it shouldn't take very long, even on slow connections. The installation is quick and easy, you just point Fraps to where you want to install it and you're on your way in just a few short seconds. When you open Fraps, you're shown the General tab, which shows you all the basic registration, version, and startup information you need. You can choose to start Fraps minimized, choose to keep Fraps windows always on top, meaning that if you open something else, Fraps will always be on top of your screen, and you can choose to run Fraps when the window starts. The FPS tab allows you to configure the ways Fraps displays the yellow frame rate counter in your game, and also allows you to set up benchmarking. You can choose where to display the FPS counter by choosing one of four corners here, or you can disable it altogether. You can assign a hotkey to whether you want to see the counter or not here. The benchmarking key is assigned here, and it allows you to choose where you want Fraps to display average FPS between two points in time. Press the hotkey to start the benchmark and press it again to end the benchmark. Benchmark details are saved in a text file in the Fraps installation directory and you can select more detailed results by selecting these options here. You can choose to end the benchmark automatically after a certain period of time if you check this box here. The last thing you can do on this page is choose whether you want the frame rate counter to update itself every second as opposed to instantly. This is the tab you'll most likely be spending most of your time in with Fraps. First thing you'll notice is the location to save your recorded movies. For convenience, it's automatically set to your default Fraps installation directory. You can, however, change this by clicking the Change button, or you can view this location by pressing the View button. The Video Capture hotkey or the Recording hotkey is by default F9. Once you press this button, the frame rate counter turns from yellow to red, indicating that it's recording. You can choose to disable this hotkey by clicking the Disable button. You have your standard sound options. Whether you want to record sound is selected here, and for ease of use, select Detect Best Sound Input here for recording your in-game audio. This will detect the What You Hear setting. Basically, it's going to record from your speakers. To the right are your video properties. You can choose to record half size or full size. Full size offers the best quality but it is also more performance heavy. Here you can choose predefined frame rates for your video or you can manually input your own. It goes as high as 100 FPS. The no cursor option eliminates the mouse cursor in game. And the no sync option prevents frame skipping while recording. This is to keep the audio and video synchronized. However, if you are recording in real time, for example Flight Sim or any other game, disable this option. The last tab is the Screenshots tab, 
Everything here is pretty self-explanatory. You can change or view the location in which the screenshots are saved by clicking here. The screenshot capture hotkey is by default F10, but you can always change this by selecting something else. Just click and change. You can also disable the hotkey by pressing disable. The two options at the bottom are self-explanatory as well. You can include the frame rate counter in your screenshot by selecting this option here. This is useful to know what your FPS was when you took the picture. You can also select this second option here to repeat screen capture until the hotkey is pressed again. Just select an interval and you're ready to go. This is useful if you want a slideshow effect when editing in together various screenshots. The file types can be found on the right. You have bitmap, JPEG, PNG, and TGA. Select whichever you like, but make sure you have the right photo viewing software that supports the type of file you have selected here. Go for whichever you're most comfortable with. Fraps won't load. I've had first-hand experience with this. If you run Fraps and all you are presented with is a black or white window in the place of the Fraps window, or if nothing shows up, then the issue is, and this is from Fraps support, a conflict with Komodo Software Firewall. Don't go head over heels and reformat if you have tried every possible fix out there. This includes uninstalling, completely eliminating fraps from your systems by all means possible, files, registry, etc. Simply update your software firewall and if that doesn't fix the issue, then uninstalling it will fix it. This issue was reported on Windows Vista and Windows 7. Fraps lags my game. There is no way around this. Fraps has to record in real time what is presented on screen. If you are having difficulties running the game in the first place, meaning you aren't getting high enough FPS, then Fraps will put it down even further. The reason it lags your game is because of the huge video files it saves on your hard drive. The reason those video files are so large is because Fraps doesn't have enough time to compress the video enough while it's recording. The video file is as high quality as it can be, but consequently its file size is big as a result. To help Fraps record at higher frame rates, make sure you have at least a dual core processor. The reason behind this is because Fraps becomes so power hungry when recording that a single core CPU just won't cut it. More memory is another solution as well. To help ensure the video files are written on your hard disk more efficiently, save them on an empty drive on your computer, if you have one. The video files will be written a lot easier and it will take some strain off your busy drive that is rendering the game. Fraps stops recording on its own. Each video file has a maximum file size of 3.9 gigabytes. When one file has reached its limit, another file begins writing right away. In the editing room, when you stitch the two together, the result is seamless. However, the cause of Fraps stopping its recording is due to the fact that you are running out of hard disk space. You may get a message saying you are low on disk space or that Fraps cannot continue recording. In all cases, you have to remember that recording with Fraps requires a lot of disk space. Free up some if you think you're going to run into issues. That's it. Now you know Fraps inside and out. Hope you load up your flight sim soon and capture those great moments. For some, it's a daily hobby, recording FS. For others, this has helped open doors to a new level of interacting with your flight simulator. This has been Eric with GearDownFS. I'll see you guys next time.